Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news of the US ban on Chinese EUV. After the implementation of the CHIP rules, Chinese companies started to build their own industrial systems at full speed. During the peak period, for every 20 new chip companies in the world, 19 of them came from China. There are 5,746 companies. Behind the turmoil, there are also many hidden dangers hidden. Everything is due to the globalization of chips, and electronic chips based on silicon-based materials are really invented by Americans. Therefore, in some basic technologies, core most of the patents come from American companies. Even TSMC, ASML, Samsung and other companies that monopolize the global market cannot get rid of American technology and have gradually become pawns of the Biden team. Agreement, etc., are all aimed at the development of China's semiconductor industry trying to block the process at 14 nanometers. Therefore, if Chinese semiconductors want to stand out from the encirclement, they must find a way to overtake in a corner. At present, all aspects of technology of Chinese companies are involved. Only the high-end EUV lithography machine has no clue. As the core equipment for core making, whether it can the key to breaking through the mass production of processes below 14 nanometers. Just recently, Applied Materials launched the electron beam measurement equipment, which can be used for high-precision detection of chips by lithography technology to reduce the cost of lithography process, and many companies have begun to get involved, and it has been confirmed that it is expected to replace EUV. Does it mean that China's opportunity is coming? Will EUV be replaced by electron beam? Before the free shipment of lithography machines was not restricted, all semiconductor manufacturers had no idea about ASML and their importance was ignored. It was not until the formulation of the Wassenaar Treaty that major companies began to panic and then gradually evolved into a tripartite agreement covering DUV lithography machines. Japan and the Netherlands compromised to follow up on the new regulations of the United States. This has directly caused global dissatisfaction, and ASML has also been implicated. Various countries and regions have started to build independent chip industries, and the first thing to break through is the dependence on lithography machines and electron beam technology is just like this. Under the sense of crisis, the construction was accelerated and even the optical lens Zeiss and ASML themselves launched related products. At the level of chip manufacturing, electron beam silicon direct writing, EBL, technology, has been proven to be used in advanced process manufacturing and is expected to replace EUV lithography technology. It will also play an important role in the containment of optical lenses. According to the introduction of industry expert Mo Da Kang, the current limit wavelength of EUV lithography machines using optical lenses is 13.5 nanometers and after using 100 keV electron beams, the wavelength can be reduced to 0.004 nanometers. In this way, the comparison shows how obvious the advantages are. It is expected to break the limit of Moore's law for silicon-based chips. Zeiss is the only supplier of optical lenses for EUV lithography machines. A number of top-notch, and complex technical requirements lead to insufficient output of EUV lithography machines. 
The electron beam uses electronic etching instead of a light source, so it is not optical lenses are required. Therefore, on the whole, measuring equipment and testing equipment equipped with electron beam technology can not only effectively control the cost, but also effectively ensure the yield rate of the chip, and at the same time, the accuracy will be greatly improved. The detailed content is in China available in the e-newsletter. According to Yu Zhengqiang, Chief Technology Officer of Dongfang Jingyuan, the traditional electronic chip manufacturing requires the circuit diagram to be masked in advance and then formed by equipment photolithography. If there is a problem with the circuit diagram, the entire batch will be scrapped and the electron beam the point scanning technology is used, which can burn different chips on the same silicon wafer, which has the advantages of flexibility and low cost. Can China take advantage of electron beam technology to overtake? According to the inspection data, the wavelength of optical detection is generally maintained between 200 nanometers and 400 nanometers. After conversion, it can only detect chip defects above 20 nanometers, which is equivalent to today's 5 nanometers and 3 nanometers chips. It is basically blind inspection. As a result, the performance improvement is extremely limited. The electron beam can easily support 20 nanometers and can accurately capture small defects. Many industry experts also stated that in order to break the impact of the limit of Moore's law on performance, whether it is DUV or EUV lithography machine, will with electron beam equipment. The latest electron beam measurement tools have been proven to be used for defect detection at nodes of 10 nanometers and below. The next generation of technology upgrades will be able to meet the production needs of chips below 5 nanometers. However, electron beams also have fatal defects in chip manufacturing. The only flaw is that the exposure speed is too slow, which is why it has not been adopted on a large scale. Compared with the speed, the EUV exposure is at least 20 times that of the electron beam. Therefore, the electron beam etching technology can only be used for small-scale mass production in the laboratory. Although the latest equipment released by Applied Materials has broken through 51 in the number of electron beams. Beam, but compared to the EUV lithography machine is still far behind. Therefore, if China Semiconductor wants to use this technology to catch up with Europe and the United States, it still needs to work hard, but for small-scale demand, it may be possible to get rid of the dependence on EUV lithography equipment. It depends on the direction of the follow-up technology. What do you think of this?